So today I'll be showing you how to edit photos on your iPhone. So if you go to the gallery and open any photo, there are plenty of editing options. So let me pick a photo like this one, for instance. So this is just a photo of a bike. And to edit this photo, just tap on the edit icon right here at the bottom. Just tap on that and that opens the first uh, stage of editing. Okay. Now we have a standard in the middle here on the left hand side is where you can change photographic styles. Now this is a new stuff in iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro. We have photographic styles which you can set before you take the photo and also you can change them after the fact. So we have amber, we have rose gold, we have neutral and then we have cold rose. Okay, so these are different photographic styles as you can see. They change in real time and you can pick something like rose gold and then tap on it as well and then even adjust the level of rose gold. So you have tone, color and palette. So using this dot, you can go up and that's going to change, you go down, go diagonally down, diagonally up. So you can really fidget with this until you get the exact complexion or, that you want from the photo. And then also you have this slider that you can use to change the intensity. Okay, so if you want to reduce the intensity, you can reduce it. And if you want to increase it, just up to exactly what you want. And then once you're happy, just tap on the photo. And then on this right hand side, we have more of the same stuff. It's mostly filters that we used to have, but then now of course the name has changed. So these are basically just filters, okay? So you get that on that side, okay? Now the middle is always standard. Then from there, you have the live option that you can change the, the main picture in the live photo. Then you can go ahead and adjust things like uh, exposure. You can reduce and increase exposure. You can change the brilliance. You can change highlights. You can change shadows and for all these options, you get this slider that you can use to reduce or increase that particular uh, edit. Okay, you can change contrast, brightness, uh, black points, saturation. It's it's a whole list of things you can change. So for instance, if you choose tint, you can see that affects the, the way the photo looks. Okay, so you can go ahead and edit everything that you want. You can change sharpness, definition, noise reduction, uh, vignette, all that stuff. So the other thing you can do with a photo is to crop. So you have the crop option here. Here you can use this to crop the photo and change or re rather remove uh, parts of the photo you don't want. So for instance, I can crop out that section. If I want to crop out this person, I can just crop like that. Okay. Now, the next thing you can do is to mark up, okay? Now, before you go even to mark up, you have this option here that allows you to flip the photo. So you can see, we can flip the photo like that. And also you can rotate the photo. So you can tap on this and that rotates 90 degrees, another 90 degrees, another 90 degrees, and another 90 degrees back to the way it was before. So now let's look at the markup options. So you can see that there's a pen tool at the top here. So if you tap on that, that opens the markup options. Now from here, you can pick different types of pens and change color. So for instance, if you want to write in that color, or let's say you want to write in red, you can tap on that and then you can make drawings or whatever you want on that particular image. Or you can just come to the plus option here and this allows you to give the image a description. You can add stickers to your image. So if you want to add a sticker, just go tap on that. You can see this collection of stickers, all these stickers from your iPhone. So let's say you want to add a guitar, for instance. So just pick a sticker like that. You can resize it. You can drag it exactly where you want it. You can even change the orientation.
like that with two fingers and then you can see now we have that guitar there go back to the plus option you can see you can add text so for instance if you want to add a caption if you're making memes or something you can even uh, add a signature to your own photos so for instance you can come here this is a signature i previously created i can go ahead and add it here so you can see right there and if you can't see it then you can actually go ahead and uh let's see if we can edit it yes you can so you can actually change the color so since it's not visible let's try and make it red or yellow or um yeah yellow is fine it's actually visible so let me just make it bigger so that's my signature for my photo if you go back there you can see we also have the option to add some shapes so if you want to you can add any shape like that you can change the colors of the outline you can change the fill color there's so much you can do with this uh, photo editor so that is all things you can do with the photo editor now anytime you make an edit and you don't like the edit you've made you can always tap on the back button and that's going to remove the last edit you made and you can keep tapping on that and it's going to go removing all the edits you have made okay just like that all right so once you're finished you can tap on done in the top right corner and that's going to save your current settings so let's tap on done again and let's exit out of here and let me show you how to edit a portrait photo so let's say you have a portrait photo like this portrait photos normally have a blurred background so if you go to edit there's going to be an extra option called portrait now if you tap on that you get a slider and currently as you can see portrait is currently off but actually you can adjust the blur in the background after the fact so after you've taken the photo you can actually see the background is currently blurred now it's going to focus on the face and you can actually set it to somewhere there and when you tap on done you can see now we have a proper portrait photo with a completely blurred background okay so that's an extra setting you get when you're trying to edit portrait photos also you get this uh portrait styles so you can come here to the top left corner and tap on the portrait styles option and then you can change the portrait style so this is the natural light so you have studio light you can change to contour light you can see everything changes you have stage light you have uh, stage light mono and you have high key light mono so you can have all these editing options basically just giving you so much uh, options or so many options to edit your photos now there's one more thing you can do you can actually completely remove the background of any photo okay so if you long press on an image you can see that gives you this option now you can tap on share and in the share option just tap on save image that's going to save that particular photo without the background so now if you go back to go back to the main gallery you'll notice now we have that image without a background okay so those are the different ways you can edit photos on your iphone 16 or iphone 16 pro now i'm gonna make a full how to edit photos on iphone video uh, that's going to encompass all iphones so make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss that one but uh that is basically how to add edit photos on your iphone 16 or iphone 16 pro now i'll also be making individual videos on those specific features so i can elaborate more and give you more options and more information about specific edits or specific actions but uh that's the general way of editing photos on these phones thank you for watching leave your comments and questions down below if you found this video useful don't forget to leave a like and even subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next one good luck